Hello everyone, and welcome back to Daily Military, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. It is also able to provide electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. Lockheed Martin is the prime F-35 contractor, with principal partners Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. The aircraft has three main variants, the conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing, Stavl, F-35B, and the carrier-based, cv catabar F-35C, the aircraft descends from the Lockheed Martin X-35 which in 2001 beat the Boeing X-32 to win the Joint Strike Fighter JSF, program. Its development is principally funded by the United States, with additional funding from program partner countries from the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, and close U.S. allies, including the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Italy, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, and formerly Turkey, several other countries have also ordered, or are considering ordering, the aircraft. The program has drawn much scrutiny and criticism for its unprecedented size, complexity, ballooning costs, and much delayed deliveries. The acquisition strategy of concurrent production of the aircraft while it was still in development and testing led to expensive design changes and retrofits. U.S. Air Force Major Kristen B.E.O. Wolf, F-35A Lightning II Demonstration Team Commander and Pilot, assigned to Hill Air Force Base, Utah, demonstrates the capabilities of the F-35 during Aero India 23 at Air Force Station Yelhunka, Bengaluru, India, February 15, 2023. The week-long biennial exhibition is Asia's largest aviation event and hosts government delegations and corporate executives from 26 countries. The U.S. military is participating in Aero India by providing aerial demonstrations and static aircraft to strengthen its partnership with India while furthering military-to-military -military relationships. U.S. Marines with Marine Fighter Attack Squadron VMFA-542 perform flight operations with an F-35B Lightning II jet at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina, May 31, 2023. VMFA-542 received its first F-35B Lightning II jet as the Marine Corps' first East Coast operational F-35B Lightning II squadron. The arrival of the aircraft marks the beginning of F- 35B Lightning II deliveries to MCOS Cherry Point, continuing 2nd Marine Aircraft Wings MAW, transition from legacy fixed-wing aircraft to the F-35 Lightning II. VMFA-542 is a subordinate unit of 2nd MAW, the aviation combat element of 2 Marine Expeditionary Force. Nomads with the 33rd Fighter Wing, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, traveled to McDill AFB, Florida, and Naval Air Station Key West, Florida, to conduct off-station training during the month of February. McDill AFB and NAS Key West offer optimal airspaces for F-35A Lightning II flying training while avoiding weather attrition. Synopsis, Norwegian Air Force F-35 Lightning II fighter aircraft have just wrapped up a NATO deployment aimed at securing Iceland's airspace, for F-35s were on standby ready to be scrambled if an unidentified aircraft came close to Icelandic airspace. The air policing mission for Iceland is provided periodically by NATO member countries for three to four weeks at a time, as Iceland does not have armed forces of its own. NATO air policing which takes place over the entire alliance 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, is a peacetime mission that aims to preserve the security of alliance airspace. The Norwegian deployment ran from January 19 until February 9, 2023. This is the second time Norway has sent fifth-generation fighter jets to cover Icelandic airspace. Footage includes shots of F-35 aircraft in a hangar, on the runway and taking off. 
It also includes sound bites with Lt. Col. Tron Haugen, Squadron Commander, 332 Squadron of the Royal Norwegian Air Force, and Thordis Kalbrun Reykjord Jilfadadr, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Iceland. Looking at the map, Iceland is obviously in a strategically important position in the High North, being where it is. So, you know, keeping a watchful eye on the High North from Iceland is obviously an important part of maintaining situational awareness of what's going on up north in the NATO area of responsibility. Iceland is an important player in this obviously as you know. They don't have their own armed forces, but they do support with their Coast Guard and their Coast Guard is running their air surveillance mission here in Iceland, which is in place with their radars and systems to be able to make and maintain a 24-7 surveillance of the airspace around Iceland. And then we integrated that part by being a first responder capability with their two F-35s that are on constant alert to be sent on their ways to intercept and identify any kind of threat to the airspace around us. All the F-35 is what we call a fifth-gen aircraft and has multiple capabilities that are SA enhancing. So situational awareness enhancing for doing a mission like this. It's got awesome sensors that keep a good lookout on what's going on around us. So when we integrate that with the radar capability that is already existing in Iceland, it makes for a very good combination to keep a good understanding of what's going on. Of course it is a deterrence in itself that we have the air policing because it shows both the capabilities and the commitments of NATO. So if we didn't have that, we would be much more vulnerable here. We have never in history have had armed forces. And we are. Even though the country is kind of big, the nation is now around 370,000. And, you know, not long ago it was even smaller. So it would always be small. We have had, you know, the bilateral defense agreement with the United States since 1951, and we are a founding member of NATO. So when you prioritize the project and look what makes sense, this is the outcome and I really don't think that's going to change, at least not in the near future. It was a very big thing when we decided to be a member of NATO, founding member at the time, and it was very controversial. Today we have, you know, more than 75% support of Iceland being a member of NATO. And now it's written out as the cornerstone of our national security policy. And obviously, with the war going on now, I think almost everyone can see what it would mean if we weren't. With the fact that we have a war in Europe, that creates a new reality, a new norm that most of us were told and believed that wouldn't happen again. It brings, you know, the threat closer and you can feel how big of a threat it is for Ukraine's neighbors, which are our neighbors and which are part of NATO. And it also shows that the values that we cherish and that we built our society on is being attacked and is being tested. And if we can't be sure that those are the values that we are going to build our society on, you know, Iceland doesn't stand a chance in Putin's world, so then it's very clear and that is why we stand very firmly with Ukraine and say out loud in every opportunity we get that Ukraine must win this war, that's the only way we can really have peace again in Europe. Watch Dutch F-35s and Polish MiG-29s take to the skies over Malbork, Poland for a training interception, as part of NATO's air policing mission, synopsis, Dutch F-35 Lightning II and Polish MiG-29 Fulcrum pilots showed off their flying skills during a demonstration over the Baltic Sea on March 21, 2023, directed by NATO's Combined Air Operations Center, CAOC, in Wadham, Germany, the fighters scrambled to intercept a Polish Air Force Casa C-295 meter transport aircraft. They performed a training interception, flying in tight formation as they shadowed the Casa C-295 meter transport aircraft. Along the way, French Air and Space Force Rafale fighters joined in, flying from Shaolay Air Base in Lithuania, where they are currently assigned to NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission. Polish Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcons also joined the sortie, demonstrating NATO's ability to control fighter aircraft from different nations during an interception, 
the Royal Netherlands Air Force deployed a detachment of F-35s to Malbork Air Base in Poland on January 30, 2023 as part of NATO's Enhanced Air Policing Mission. From there, the Dutch pilots trained extensively with their NATO allies while remaining on alert for air policing scrambles. Since their deployment, they have scrambled four times to intercept Russian military aircraft passing close to NATO airspace over the Baltic Sea. Allied aircraft routinely scramble to intercept aircraft that fail to communicate with air traffic controllers or broadcast a transponder code. Footage includes shots of Allied jets taxiing, taking off and performing a training interception, as well as interviews with Polish Air Force Brigadier General Irnus Nowak and a Royal Netherlands Air Force pilot.